welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey, I'm 19 years old, and I am on the autistic spectrum. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of my lovely videos. So let's get on with today's video. So like, just a little PSA, I am a little anxious and upset because I found out I have a bunch of copyright claims. Yay! So I, if I seem a little off, I'm a little upset and mad about it, but it's part of life, okay? It's just part of life. So, it's okay. But we're gonna get on to this video. So, as you saw on the video, that my toe got really infected and I had to go to urgent care. And I've been really scared to have to go to the doctor in general, especially being during this global pandemic coronavirus. If you are over the age of 18, you cannot have adult with you, just parents, just adults, because you don't need them to make decisions for you or help you make decisions, right? So, I have autism. And going to the doctor during a global pandemic is freaking out as it is, right? But I was so concerned that my mom couldn't come with me, my mom was taking me, and I was like creating this big dramatic deal, like there's a battlefield in there, there's like sick people, even though it's urgent care, it's making this big dramatic anxiety because it's the coronavirus, I could get sick, there's all this stuff, and my mom couldn't come with me, and it's scary, and it's just like this big dramatic almost battlefield like in my head. And to make it easier, my mom called them and said, hey, like, I know I'm having taking Audrey in. Can I please come with her? She has autism. And could we make an assessment just so she can get her knees met? And, of course, they were said yes. yes. And it wasn't as bad. I mean, in my head, I was, like, trembling and stimming, like, all like this. And just, like, I couldn't stay still sitting in the waiting room. And even though there was nobody in there, it was weird because they only allow one person at a time. And there's just, like, nobody in there but the lady. And even though it's nice not to be in crowds, it's still, like, weird. And it's coronavirus time. And you don't know what's going to happen because it might hurt because your toe's infected and all this stuff. Your toe might not be affected. It could be anything. But we're going to get on my story. And I'm just, like, ball, like overtaken with anxiety and upsetness because it's scary going to the doctor during this time. It's not only having autism and maybe not going in with your adult, it makes it even harder. So I was having trouble talking and like processing, but once the doctor came in and my mom talked to him, it turned out to be fine. It wasn't as dramatic as it was in my head. It wasn't a big deal. We just went into the doctor. The only weird thing is they didn't let you bring your mask in. They had to provide them. And I, actually, those, like, paper masks are actually really soft, like, compared to my cloth mask, which is interesting. But it was still really big for my face. So that was a little weird, but other than that, it was fine. They did my toe. They just looked at it. It was fine. It was still infected, and they said they could drain it, but they said it would be extremely painful, so I just said not to. They sent me out with some antibiotics, and they told me this put my toe in soapy water, and I've been doing that, and it should probably drain on its own in 10 days. Not as big a deal in my head. Just like a lot of normal doctor's appointment, just a little different. <laughs> just feels differently. So I just thought maybe that could help someone else, because I'm sure there's someone else nervous about the same thing, if maybe they had to go to urgent care or the doctor or something. I'm sure going to the hospital is extremely different, um, because... That is where they are treating me, extreme COVID-19 patients. So they need to separate the regular patients to the COVID-19 patients. So I'm sure it's way bigger. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of my lovely videos. Bye, guys.